Square 20 is the annual celebration of 20 queer Indians who have made a mark in business, technology and society. Joining us today is Sakshi Jaleja. She is the co-founder of Gezi, which is a collective for the LGBTQ plus community. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Could you just tell us a bit about how did the idea of Gezi come into, how did, what happened, like what was the thought process behind um, so I was studying in Australia. I was there in Sydney for about eight years. Um, I did my year 12 and I did my graduation from there and then uh, so once I finished my graduation and I came back to India, um, you know, I I had to start from scratch again over here in terms of making friends and everything because a good chunk of my Teen years I had spent and early 20s were spent over there so I had to come back here and get in touch and things like that um, and along the way uh, not that in Australia I was living an out-out life it was more about as per convenience for me or what suited well where I felt safe sort of a thing but when I came back over here you know after a couple of years over here I kind of came to a place where I needed to be around queer people um, and this also uh, got amplified once I came out to my family um, so for me it was like just this sudden urge of wanting to just surround myself uh, with folks who I could relate to um, so you know I went on Google and tried to look around over there but I couldn't find as such a queer women space. There was a lot of queer women content, but then it was very American, very very Western, right? It's nothing in context which I could relate to. Um, and I had a little bit of blogging experience earlier. So then with a friend of mine um, in London, we decided to start a blog where we would get more queer women some we knew and some we hoped would get in touch with us after we put the blog out and uh, and at least start a conversation where uh, you know we could share our journeys whether it's related to love whether it's related to family situation work life uh, you know personal well-being uh, whatever one wanted to share and was comfortable with sharing and blogging kind of helped that because you could be anonymous and yet Put your story out there, um, and that's how Gacy was born. How is Gacy specifically um, leveraging queer art, you know, to generate visibility for the queer community? Um, you, know, you know, the whole uh, the the Gacy's visual identity and expression pretty much happened by chance. I mean, it was not something that we when we started. Uh, we thought that it could be one of the very reasons of uh, of our solid existence. Uh, it was something I think me and Priya we both were very particular about how we how Gacy looks um, because we when we were growing up what we saw were just uh, sadly uh, naked white men on most of the 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 lgbt artworks and all that was shared in the country or really or really like not not worth putting out there sort of a thing and we were very particular that it needs to have what we felt when we saw gacy right um, it should appeal to our eyes and once we are happy with it, only then we can expect somebody else to be happy with it. Um, you have a consolidated readership and it's quite large. Are there any anecdotes you can share with us, you know, where you know that because of Gezi there has been a social call? <laughs> oh, that would be bragging. Uh, but uh, You're allowed I mean, to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I would say, you know, I mean, I would... Right, I would want to reflect within as well. Like I feel that my growth as a queer person also kind of progressed as Grace Gacy grew older. You know, um, I don't come from any gender, sexuality, education background. I'm a marketing person. Um, uh, you know, I did not have the sensibilities what I had 
today as opposed to you know when we started out and and by our gc we just got to learn so much so as my personal growth today i feel is is a lot to be thankful for because of gc and the people that i met via gc um so so yeah i know that there, there has been change uh, in that sense and uh, and yeah and and then you know we've seen those very people from coming from a very anonymous space and not sure of space to being a space of where you know even if they are not sure about or are still questioning their sexual orientation or but at least they are in a space where they feel safe and and they are able to be questioning i think that is something which is just remarkable to be so open about it right because we even in the queer space at times we just want people to be so sure of oh no you identify as this are you sure you identify as this um but but you know uh, to be to see young persons or i mean to see any queer person to if if they are still not sure to be vocal about the fact that they are not sure um i think it's fantastic what is the kind of space that lesbians hold in the queer movement for india i mean the till the last few years uh, you know we were we were i mean we are still the minority in this minority um and and we had to speak much louder uh, to come in the forefront or be even recognized whether it was by the community or also by the mainstream media um and 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 you know in the last few years what also helped again you know with the whole social media platforms which made it just easier for people to put their stories and their lived narratives or lived experiences out there with the comfort of whether to disclose or not disclose their identity um uh, and i would say in the last 12 years i've seen a huge change uh, you know where we used to joke about you know how we were the only 5 to 10 lesbians in the entire mumbai city um to coming to a gc party where we see over 200 lbt non binary folks under one roof uh, for instance we had the post pride we organized the post pride party for bombay uh, earlier this year we had over 800 attendees out of which easily over 600 were uh, though uh, queer women or those who identify as lbt non binary folks um, so that itself shows uh, you know the the journey that we have traveled um, and and today i mean what is amazing to also see is is the fact that even like i mean because i've attended bombay prides i mean I, unfortunately this year i could not go for the walk solidarity walk uh, but gathering Uh, but what i've also seen in the last couple of years is how you find young women um or those who identify as women and non binary taking the the charge being at the very forefront and being so visibly there uh, it's it's very very heartwarming so i think i think we are everybody i think is pushing to make themselves visible 